Look at all those. We need to donate to YouTube. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is a crazy day. I uh, had to get up, put the vlog together as quickly as possible, shave, shower, shit, get out of the house. Uh, I have to meet with Carl, give him his hard drive. That's the box that's sometimes sitting here, is uh, just moving information back and forth for his television show, the fishing show. And uh, so I need to bring him back his cards and his hard drive. And then we've got to zip down to uh, Scarborough, drop off the drone and uh, get the blurry image thing fixed. Uh, if you can fix it today, like in, the, in like a half an hour of him doing whatever, great, then I'll be able to bring my drone home. If not, I'm gonna have to go back down maybe Friday, which will really suck, but anyway. Uh, and then after that, I'm going to Toronto Space to a, a YouTube Creator Day. Starts at one o'clock, I have to be there before 12.30, I think. Then they shut the doors and won't let anybody in. So it's uh, gonna be, that's the, the main thing I need to get to today. And uh, we're not gonna be late. If I've got about a half tank of gas, that should do us for the day. The gas is uh, $1.10.5. I bet it'll be lower later. Well, Carl just texted me and said he's fishing right now. So I can't drop the drives off to him. He'll have to pick them up tomorrow. It's 8.38 right now. So it'll be interesting to see how long it takes me to get to the drone place in Scarborough. And uh, depending on where it is, depends and, and depending on how much time I have, depends on whether or not I actually show you where my first house was, which is in Scarborough. Uh, so let's go. Let's have a fun day. It's gonna be a cool trip to Toronto day. Well, the first thing we gotta get is coffee. I didn't make a coffee for myself this morning. I'm gonna get in this lane because it'll be easier. So I'm just heading through Bradford here and there's a Tim Hortons. Unfortunately, it's on the other side of the road. Uh, there are other Tim Hortons, but almost every single one of them is not in a convenient spot for me. So either I have to go backtrack to the next Tim Hortons and it's not a drive through. So you have to get out of your car and go in and all that stuff. and wait in line uh, or you can cross do a left hand turn across traffic into a Tim Hortons and then try to get out of the Tim Hortons across traffic to go south so uh, and then there's a, a few south of here but again they're all inconveniently out of the way which is kind of interesting but uh, usually there are always Tim Hortons everywhere and they're super convenient but not these ones for some reason all right let's get our Tim Hortons coffee and then move on Well, as you can tell, it wasn't that hard to turn left. Uh, I guess we're, we're past the, the whole um, morning traffic thing. So it might be just as easy to get out. Can I help you? Hi, can I please get a large double-double? Thank you. Buck 90. I've got like four cards I'm trying to get rid of. I think you're allowed to uh, consolidate them. I just haven't had time to go into a Tim Hortons. I want to put them all on the card that Chris got me, the uh, personalized one with my company logo on it. Let's try this one first. There's still money on it. Jeez. Thank you. All right, time to go, people. So this is the craziness I got to deal with. <laughs> So we got traffic from the left, a lot of traffic from the right. Luckily we got a middle lane. So the traffic on the right doesn't matter as much. Unless they're coming for coffee. And we did it successfully. Dun da da da! All right, off to Scarborough. It's going to be 29 degrees Celsius today. It's going to feel like 8 million degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> All right, let's go. Scarborough, 
I am headed south on Brimley, coming up to Lawrence Avenue, and uh, then we'll hit the Drones Toronto, and let's get the drone fixed once and for all, people. There's a plaza over here. I'm not sure what the, sure what the plaza is called, but like I said, it's Lawrence Avenue East and Brimley, and there's that plaza over there, and that's where our uh, when I was like seven and eight years old, I used to take karate lessons with my dad. Very cool memories. It's been a while since I've been down here. Drop the drone off to Danny, and uh, he works out of his home, and uh, the whole house is drones. <laughs> There's so many Phantom 3s, and he's got the big, like, 12 blade drones that will pick up small animals <laughs> it's just amazing how much stuff he's got anyway so uh, he's going to try to change uh, a barrel or something I'm I just want him to fix it I don't care how he does it but uh, and then while I was there I'm like oh do you have the uh, the little wind the, the or sorry the sunscreen for it so I got finally got a sunscreen that will go over the phone because there's so many times uh, that when it's bright out, I can't see the screen very well, and then I screw up the footage, either overexposing it or underexposing it, because I'm guessing. And uh, so now I've got this. This will help with better footage. So look forward to better, awesome drone footage. Hopefully, Danny will uh, pound this out and bring my drone up to me. I think we're going to meet either tomorrow or Friday, yeah, because it's Wednesday. Because you know, I want it for the weekend. I, I really want to bring it up to the cottage and, and have some fun and uh, show off some more of uh, Muskoka. Just for you. All right, guys, let's go. Downtown Toronto. It is 10 minutes to 11, so I've got like an hour. Uh, so I'm gonna do a food review while I'm down here. I just don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Somebody emailed me a long time ago about a place called Booya, and uh, they do like waffle ice cream sundaes or something like that. So I'm gonna pull over, uh, look it up, see where it is from here, and uh, then I'll probably drive over there. I think it's not really close to this spot, so I might have to do something different. Anyway, I've got a few choices. A few options downtown Toronto, let me tell you. Here's the YouTube Space Toronto. This is where I need to come back to in about an hour. But, uh... Gotta get food first. Food first. Okay, so I just, I, I realized that it's about uh, half an hour drive through traffic to get to uh, Booya. So I'll do it another time. So I'm just gonna put some of my valuables in the trunk. Battery one, battery two. And we've gotta pay for parking. And then we're good to go. Okay, I finally signed up. I have time. So I signed up to this Green Pea parking thing. I had to add my credit card. Unfortunately, they don't ding you every transaction, they make you upload $20 at a time or more to their green pea parking thing. So you'll always have this outstanding balance, I guess you can call it. Uh, but you don't have to put the thing in the car, uh, I guess the ticket in the car, you just leave your parking. And what's really cool about this that I like so far, let's see if I can get to the, there, oh, dude. It'll actually give you, I just want to make sure it's not giving any vital information. I don't think it is. Uh, I'm just going to put my finger over some things here. But it's giving you a countdown as to how much parking you have left. And then you can also extend your time, which is, so now I'll be able to extend my time no matter where I am. 
and uh, my car will be safe. I don't have to come back out. Because I was thinking, I was, I'm not sure if it was worth putting my put, attaching it to my visa where it deducts twenty dollars at a time, even though parking is only six bucks. Uh, and, and again, they'll hold my money until the next time I park, uh, or just pay at the machine. But it's better to do this because now I don't have to come back to my car for the rest of the day. I'd like to have moved it up to this spot. This is a, this is a juicy spot because you can always get out. Whereas that, uh, if somebody parks right up behind me, then I might get stuck there. So I always try to get to an end, like where somebody's driveway is. All right, let's go get some food. I wish my camera was just rolling because I just got had the shit scared out of me and the woman that was walking past. The guy in that truck let the metal plate hit the ground and it sounded like a gunshot. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey, Corona. The woman stopped in her tracks. <gasps> it's not open? It's, it's not 11.30 yet, I guess. Oh, pain. It's like 18 minutes after 11, so they'll be opening up in like 10 minutes, so that's cool. I can wait. I figure while I'm waiting, I'll see if I can check in. Hello. How are you? Yes. Um, so we still have an event going on, so we're not going to start registration until about one. Until about one, okay. Yeah. Cool. So maybe. I'm going to go eat lunch. Okay. I just, I just saw that I was open. I saw that. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll go get lunch and then I'll come back. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. See you then. Bye. I just saw a whole bunch of people there. I guess they're having another event uh, right now, which is cool. And they're not going to register till one, so we'll have time to eat and put together a video, maybe. Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to the Kendomic Food Review, just for you. was an awesome guy this was a a true 100% food review no strings attached no sponsorships no money exchanged hands that's just me eating at a restaurant loved the atmosphere loved the the staff amazing staff and their food and the convenience of where I need to be everything worked out amazing so please go check out the Richmond Rogue and uh, Tom Ken sent you to my immediate left is the YouTube Space Toronto we used to have to access it through here. They still use it, I guess, if there's a lot of people are coming in and out. But we have to go around the side door here. I timed that well. Yeah. Look who's here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, what's up, guys? Oh, how's the vacation? Uh, the vacation's yeah. good. I saw the videos. I gotta start working out. That's what we, I was gonna text you. You gotta motivate me. Friday. <laughs> Well, the first half of this thing, I got a YouTube app. I forgot to show you guys. The You're game. a YouTuber? I'm a YouTube YouTube? No, I don't. <laughs> no comment. The first half was great. There was a bunch of stuff in analytics that I didn't know about, so I'm glad that they showed us a few things that I didn't know. And uh, now it's just wash and break. I should zip but, in. But, I'll, but I'll shut the camera off as we enter the room. Dun 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 dun. Both the gym suit. Yeah. <laughs> what are you gonna get? Uh, got a diet Pepsi. Diet and a Pepsi. water. Water. I grabbed a water. They got chips, rolled gold cookies. Of course, chocolate chip goes first, right? Chocolate chip's gotta be one uh, number one cookie. Like, 
anywhere I go, you put chocolate chip with all the other ones, chocolate chip goes down. Oh, yeah, definitely. Always. Yeah. Unless, unless there's hash brownies, then it's, that's all. I'm going to say a different wait. story. You put sugar in that? 1%. No, no sugar, 1%. 1%. Breaks over. Right here? Back to work. Oh, you're the television. And I'm vlogging at the same time, of course. Were or want to start collaborating? Okay, got a few. Um, cool. So we're going to talk about what happens before the collab. What are some things you need to do to prep? What are some of the things that happens during the collaboration that you need uh, to pay attention to? And then what happens after? How do you measure the success of the collaboration? So for the pup play, round of applause. We're we're up. For the food fitness. Yeah. We won. YouTube Space Toronto. I think I'm just going to go straight home from here. And uh, edit the video, food video, and launch it as quickly as possible. Because that's what I do for a living, just in case you didn't know. The whole creator day was amazing. There's tons and tons of information that I learned. It's amazing, I've been doing this for 11 years now and I still keep learning things about YouTube because they keep changing stuff. And there are things that other people do that I have not done yet. Check it out, no ticket, this person's leaving. So I don't have to uh, do the whole back out for back out, back out, back out, back out, back out. Perfect. Met a lot of amazing people, met a skydiver, I met Colossus Fitness, uh, Colossus Fit, and uh, a guy that does a cooking show in Jamaica, which uh, I'd love to talk to you guys about. It'd be so cool to zip down to Jamaica, shoot a few food reviews, one of them be a cooking show with a guy who's a cook in Jamaica. So there's a guy that lives here, he goes down and videotapes his friend, he does a bunch of shows in uh, the course of a week, and then puts them together throughout until he runs out of material and then he goes back down to, to Jamaica. Very cool job. So uh, yeah, Colossus Fitness and I are going to be teaming up to do a 10,000 calorie challenge someday soon. And then we're gonna be doing another video right after that, how to burn a, a 10,000 calories. Did I say 1,000? 10,000 calorie challenge and then 10,000 calorie burn challenge. 
So look forward to that. So right now we are, oh, somebody's waving to somebody. Right now we gotta get home and put this video out. Let's go. Made it down to Bradford, and I thought I'd just hit up Tim Hortons while I wait for Ben to get off work. He gets off work at 10. Usually walks out around 10 after 10 after he does his tidy up or whatever. So I'm gonna try and finish the video here, but uh, yeah, I'll let him know how it goes. Well, I'm just about to start editing. I texted Carol, texted Ben, just letting them know where I am. And uh, somewhere along the broken telephone line, I've just discovered that uh, our guest Carol and Ben gave Ben her car. So Ben's got a vehicle. So I'm just finishing up my bagel, bring my coffee with me, go home, and then I'll have to come down and pick Ben up because he's got a car. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed today's vlog and we'll see you tomorrow. Time to pack up, go home, edit, and release this video.